Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The Honorable Former Chief Justice Pakistan, Mr. Jalani, the judges uh, of the Sindh High Court, uh, the Savi Shadiqi Sahib, the Nidhi Ghafar Sahib, Justice Deek Shah Sahib, uh, Yusuf, and judges of Lujistan High Court, judges uh, the most foremost ladies, who said lady lawyers, uh, the person who are more important for us today, the registrar who are sitting in the two tables here behind, who for us, for whom we have been conducting this workshop to train them, and also to welcome the lawyers who are the most important pillar of Pakistan because they are the one who are the barometer of Pakistan. When investors are investing in Pakistan, they first contact the law firms and they say, how good is your climate? And they say, well, we just attended the corporate SSCP's workshop. The judiciary and the regulator were sitting together. That shows the positive side of Pakistan. And also, lawyers who are appearing before me in Royal Pretty Bench, Sadiq Awan Saab here, Kazim Hadamota, Kazam is with us. We have all we want to welcome. Now, I deference my overture of my speech. Now, I'll start that to congratulate Pakistan. Of, on achieving its 75 years, to congratulate SCCP on achieving its 25 years, more than 25 years, we'll talk about a topic on the evolution of company law and the bench's jurisdiction. Uh, before we start, whether judges were supposed to give speeches, when I first start, became a judge and I had to go and speak every week. I read Justice Fazil Kareem's book under Article 19, Right to Speech, as a fundamental right of every citizen. And there was the commentary about an English judge expressing his views at the conference. And the judges can only speak through your judgments. And here I am, I'll only speak through the judgments I've delivered under company law, even two days ago on the company jurisdiction, which at the end I will hand over to the chairman of the SCCP. And my even I wrote, printed last night, Judges only speak through their judgments, and I'm asking him something, which is a signed copy. All the principles are in yellow, and all the judgments which I authored, bringing new law points in Pakistan, besides Mr. Shafi Siddiqui Sahib, who's also authoring lots of judgments, and company law, Mr. Shahid Kareem. Uh, first issue is, what, how old is the company law? The youngsters who were born before the SCCP Act also, or after the SCCP Act 27, the law we are discussing here is 110 years old, Companies Act 1913. Various jurisprudence was developed, mostly by the Sindh High Court, Lahore High Court, on all issues, which are settled now. We don't need to resettle those issues. Then the 84 ordinance, which is also more than uh, 39 years old, and then the 2007 uh, or 17 or Act, or Act where we are now developing, the, where I got a chance to, because I was a judge at that time when it came, I had to bring new concepts to protect the Pakistan investment, to give the strength to corporate democracy and the shareholders. And only ways, since morning we've been hearing, what is my task in the next 10 minutes is to clarify section 4, 5, and 6. Four, five, and six are very important because, as you, if you look at it, the preamble of the Companies Act is in the most beautifully written preamble. In my few judgments, I have even appreciated the preamble, which talks about which. If you read the preamble and you read some sections, the most important thing, one one minute I will take is that section four has an overriding effect, which says that the, the Act will have an overriding effect on all other laws for time being in Pakistan. And Section 41B of this SCCP Act also mentions the overriding effect of other laws, which I tried to develop, that if NAV was taking initiative or criminal proceeding against a, a company or its directors, can they do it? In PGM case, in Arabia Sugar Mill, Ramadan Sugar Mill, I had to develop a concept that 41B says SCCP has an overarching effect as a regulator. Then 4B, any other law in Pakistan, not understanding the word used, is what is the preamble? I mean, when somebody asks, how do you interpret the Constitution? I mean, I, whenever in all forums I say, nothing will happen to Pakistan because the preamble of Pakistan starts with the word of, whereas the sovereignty of his universe belongs to Almighty Allah alone and his sacred trust for the people of Pakistan and their will. 
that constitution preamble has other preambles of the constitution company law preamble can be read with all the sections which i try to develop in some judgments that if you want to find an answer the gateway to the act and the ordinance is the preamble and the preamble clarifies the issue between who could be coming to company jurisdiction so in in the constitutional jurisdiction we are very conservative that you have to be an aggrieved person you have to be a citizen for the fundamental rights you have to be individual but article 199 says any party person citizen individual and a party company law narrow down which i'm trying to open gates if if i don't open a gate for a company matter anything goes can go to a civil court or any other court it can destroy a company i try to save some companies kashif is sitting here we try to save two companies one two big groups uh, in, in the pindi bench not because we admitted the petition only to the point that he should not go anywhere else because we because under what is the word or the preamble is very important to protect the interest of shareholder to protect the interest of creditor to protect the interest of stakeholders to protect the for general public for good governance minority interest and corporate entity but those are the preamble words but when people who knock our door where i try to develop jurisprudence the three doors only for for us where people can come 286 is narrowing down a member with 10% or comma a shareholder or the creditor one but i have dry try to develop two points contingent creditor because of a stake shareholders agreement money was not given a contingent creditor can come because two conservative orthodox principles of company law is that only you can come we are trying to develop a jurisprudence others can come to overriding effect of section 4 if you read it again no other court is an overriding effect and you can bring and protect a company interest to open the door for a time being with subject to limitation then a person is used under article uh, section 126 for rectification register in a leading judgment which is even sat in london usmani case of 2022 cld 821 i have tried to develop the word person is not defined under company law but what person means and who can approach company jurisdiction of the act was explained with 20 pages who could be a person that there is the word we can do but all that can be done what just the lines are mentioning is you can resolve this by admitting the subject to with the concept which sccp has under section part 8 of the companies act 2017 277 278 mediation reconciliation pre conceived negotiation you can do that because you can bring a petition and say we want you to sit down together to a force of law the power under section 277 is confined only to the uh, appellant bench and the commission but that can be even you know notified because when i was doing the first merger uh, of fuzzel cloth and 2022 cld 22 in that i created that merger is a power of ccp through a notification we are doing the mergers because there could be a notification there could be then because what we have to see today we have to see the jurisprudence as a judge i can only say Shafi Siddiqui sir is sitting here. Shahid sir was here sitting ago. For Shamil Shah, uh, just as Jani sir has developed, we only can do one thing for you. That's all. Interpretation of the sections of the law. That's all. And wh why? Article Pakistan Constitution is very unique. Everybody, the lawyer sitting who will be advising the client, will always tell that the barometer Pakistan is looks good because courts are there to protect. the shareholders minority holders foreign investors how one question is that how that is that court will look under article 4 is inalienable right of every citizen to be treated as per law if sccb took action against you or when authority took action against you you have a right under article 4 to be treated as per law is an inalienable right but you have a duty under article 5 of the constitution loyalty to state and in viable obligation in illegal is a right to you on the other hand is in viable obligation two things the constitution brings you into pakistani system and the most important with the corporate lawyers will write to the client is article 
that Pakistan constitution has a unique feature which no one has. The law under Article 175 means the law by the parliament under Article 70 or an ordinance under Article 89. But the bigger than this is Article 189, a judgment of the Supreme Court. If a Supreme Article 189 says, if a Supreme Court enunciates a principle of law, comma, decides a question of law, comma, or develops a new point of law, it shall be binding on courts below. Shall be binding on courts below. What did we all sitting under one roof did? We developed the company law jurisprudence being in a high court so far under Article 201 says, subject to Article 189, we are bound to follow Supreme Court. Any judgment of a high court, if it decides a question of law and then sees the principle of law, shall be binding on the courts below. That is the jurisprudence of Pakistan under the company law, 1913, 278 judgment was passed, majority by the Sindh High Court. Then Lahore High Court and other courts and Supreme Court, a few good judgments on platinum insurance case, period 1999, Supreme Court page 1. And then 1984 ordinance, there were more than 400 judgments was passed by Pakistani courts alone. On winding up, anti-winding up, due points, Pakistani courts have developed jurisprudence. We are all here to develop a jurisprudence to make Pakistan look like, because we don't have anybody like this is Fadil Kareem to write a book. In England, I'll be sitting in London Commercial Courts from 10th on, on July onwards. England has developed SET, the London Commercial Courts, which is the King's Bench, London High Court. The trust for the world is speedy, effective, and trusted forum for the world. 80% users are the foreign parties. When we develop commercial courts in Punjab, which was appreciated by the other courts. Sindh is doing, his user says, will be now handling that with the Sindh government. We set up the overseas cell acknowledged by the Supreme Court of Pakistan, 2022 SCMR 1282, the efforts of Lahore High Court initiating two brilliant ideas. The commercial court is that what can we do because you have to have a risk. First thing which I did was, given the judgment which was cited by Mr. Fasaharu Raj in the morning, Lieutenant General Mahmood Akhtar, uh, was SCCP 2022 CLD page 718 where I tried to develop that any petition filed under the 2017 Act has to be decided within 120 days, not beyond that. Section 6 itself says a petition filed, 30 days reply, 65 says the ex party if the reply is not filed, 120 days you have to decide that matter. And that is Another judgment which I gave in text matters, Shaheen welfare, every tribunal, every forum is time bound, specific legislations. In the country, in the physical matters, when you say that you are doctrine of ripeness, the matter is not ripened, you have to first exhaust the remedies and every remedy is time bound. Time specific legislation is Shaheen welfare versus Federation of Pakistan, 2021, PGD 2126. It's followed all over Pakistan now that this is a case, 20 days, 90 days. In, in tax matters, 45 days appeal, 90 days appeal. Junaid Khwar is sitting here. I've, I've been following his judgments on tax matters. You're time bound, time bound specifically. Company law is time bound. Left and General Mood Akhtar case, a, a gentleman, his son was, was killed. He came to the court 2000 and of 13 years, his matter was mending pending bench. When I came to Pindi bench, I found out why. I apologized the gentleman. That should have been in 90 days or 120 days only. SCCP appeared before me. I decided the court case in the open court. I gave him the shares there. They allowed the petition and I apologize. And I wrote start of my judgment was, it was a case of 120 days only. We must apologize. The lay was not in our part. Maybe some were not, not fixed. My registrar of the Pindi bench is sitting here. My the registrar of Lahore High Court bench is sitting here. They're all hearing it. This petition should not be taken away lightly, they should be finished and, and more not more than, and that judgment left General Mahmood Akhtar to, is, is followed mostly in cases now, mashallah, in Pakistan, which has gone into the jurisprudence of a country. Then you can over look, look into that uh, 
By looking at 1913 Act, 1984 Act ordinance and 19, 2017 Act, what could you see how judiciary is? is First thing when I started doing company matters was, I need to declare SCCP as a regulator. And there was not a judgment in any way, Shahid Sahib has given a judgment, but I need to develop what regulator could be, how a regulator can function. And the first time when the case came to me for the foreign NGO talking about the issue of registration, I, uh, that is ATEX case 2020, CLD page 1, and also PLD 2020, Lahore page 1, both page 1, was I deliberately touched upon that SCCP is a regulator as a liberty to regulate affairs unless such restrictions are arbitrary or, contra or, or the discriminatory. But then I thought that you need to develop the concept of regulator. Then I did in other cases, in PMC and all. Then a very famous case came to SCCP case when I was in Pindi bench of winding up. But at that time, I'm, a very, I'm called as an anti-winding up judge. In a case of uh, first time, I had to do one in Chanap textile mill case, 2020 CLD, page 339. We need to pass in a, that under the commercial immolarity and immolarity concept is if a factory is running, if you give an affidavit, if you comply with all the requirements of the CCP, if you pay taxes, one should revive the concept under Section 33, 313 of the company that, that was China Textile Mill. Thereafter, when this case came to me, which is called the regulator case of SCCP, that's al Textile, again by Pindi Bench, 2021 CLD 931, where in two, three, four pages, I have developed the concept of regulator because SCCP was, elect, was an established under the 1997 Act. It has powers and functions under Section 20 of the Act with the overriding effect. And when you strengthen the regulator, the, today we are all sitting here, the judges are sitting here only with the regulator telling everyone that the regulator regulates the affairs of the companies and we are the judges in the appeal and Section 34. If you look at the Pakistani case law, I was looking at a whole last night, you can find out mostly cases under CO. Very few cases are given under the company's appeal under Section 34 as an act. Because, and unfortunately, the bench was not formed, appellant bench was not functioning. In 2002 onwards, there were a lot of cases coming to the High Court of EA, CA company appeal under 34. 33, you function, we sit in 34, but I sit as CO. Company's original. They sit in JM or C. We sit in strict position. Shahid Sahib is giving judgment under the CEO. Very few CA. CA is only come when the appellant bench is functioning. And that is how you will develop a point of law which we will endorse or change or develop further. Then uh, the concept of regulator came out in that judgment of 2021 CLD 931. Again, Rahul Pindi bench which said, you won't wind up, you, I won't wind up a company, and they gave an affidavit, and that was a success model. Now everybody is following it. Supreme Court in the last six cases has both judgments had to, on the basis of that, stopped the winding up and suspended the orders. There's a new concept. Then coming back to what made me strengthen SCCP, when they NAB tried to take actions against the directors of the SCCP, PGM case, Taking a criminal proceedings, I had to bring in 41B, supporting that, that is PL 2020 CLD, page 541, then Ramzan Sugar Mill, 2020 CLD 478, and then 2021 CLD Asgard 9, where they're pushing the, the stamp on the SCCP papers of a company that you have, uh, you cannot, uh, we will give a photo of it to you, but we're putting a stamp on the form A, form 29. That takes away the rights of the parties for taking for the loan. It's dignity, so I had to take it some to strengthen the company. Then the concept of how do you develop the company's provisions, rectification of register. Shahid Sahib's judgment I followed, that there was a, had to be a limitation under section 126 to rectify the register. Six years and five, uh, three years was the uh, ambiguity. I have followed Shahid Sahib and one Supreme Court judgment and then uh, the other judgment, but Supreme Court recently uh, given a judgment of two member bench uh, taking that there could be no limitation. But by that time, two of my judgments, both of them were report, reported and followed by the Supreme Court, but they were upheld without uh, de developing a law. But the, the, the other judgment of two member bench is now in field saying there is no limitation 126. 
There should be a limitation because you have to rectify register as, as a, when the sufficient knowledge, when you find out about the fraudulent activity, there must be a time frame of doing something. The SSCP can do that later, uh, it's up to them. Now time frame, uh, then the concept uh, of mergers. Mergers have uh, been, been done by a lot of judges. Shafi Sikhi sahab, ke recently there are a lot of mergers purported in CLD. Uh, what my only suggestion would be, we will look good, the corporate lawyers will say good things when we full CLD, the high time that we should all make good judgments because the concept of merger will be developed the permission from the Competition Commission and other points therein. Uh, I know my time is limited. Uh, what my only four suggestions to in the forum would be subject to what is one would be that now the government, the SCCP should decide cases in an appellant bench. We'll all look forward to decide the questions of law coming to us at the third or fourth forum. Two, and most important, would be to look at the law, as Justice Shahid Kareem has also volunteered, we two judges sat down with the World Bank and drafted commercial courts ordinance. It was, it was an ordinance, unfortunately, that ordinance lapsed, but I was very clever. I immediately passed a judgment before la lapsing of that, that no, the commercial court we established under the notification. When ordinance came, it went to the ordinance, again through the notification, under Pisa Hard judgment cited mostly 2021 CLT, CLD 639, where we talked about courts, Rick, play, uh, how courts can play. Is and the most important is that we can commit and we are all available, me and Justice Shahid Sahib are available here for anything you need for reforms, some sections. There are some sections need some repetition. And third and the most important is, which I've been sending lots of people from the Pindi bench in Lahore, is sometimes parties do sit down for the settlement of a dispute because the preamble itself says, factious remedy for corporate dispute settlement, uh, I was trying it under section 6, but I get a strength of section 277 and 278, where SCCP can sit down and Muzaffar is, is now hearing something, Dothin uh, Ayame, a very famous cases, I will not mention them because they are prejudiced, but they are subjected in my court. Those could be two things very important. And last is we should all contribute to Pakistan jurisprudence to look for, for us. To, that to Pakistan to look better. And at the end, we'll say the word the word I always use in a create, create egg principle. Half a glass empty, half a glass full. Create egg is some principle which I develop in my judgment says in 1908 uh, in the punch cartoon, uh, a bishop goes to an inn and he asks a pastor, can I have an egg please? And he brings an egg, my lord, the egg is it's a bad egg. And the bishop says, oh, some parts are good and some parts are bad. And I will end my career. Said, I say Pakistan corporate sector, role of SCCP, role of courts, role of Supreme Court, role of the lawyers is all looking good to me. And I always say at the end, Pakistan Zindabad. Thank you.